O depth of wealth, wisdom, and knowledge of God! How unsearchable are God's judgments, how untraceable are God's ways! The source, guide, and goal of all that is, to God be glory forever! Welcome to this midweek devotional. Substitute Pastor Brian here with you. A joy to be back again this week. Just to note, our regular worship service is available in two forms, in person in the sanctuary and on our YouTube channel, Covenant UPC Butler, both at 10 a.m. Sunday, your choice. This week, my sermon is Faith and Doubt in Boating, and our musical guest is Miss Katie Dreyer. Let us continue now with the psalm of the day. Give ear, O my people, to my teaching. Incline your ears to the words of my mouth. I will open my mouth in a parable. I will utter dark sayings from of old. Things that we have heard and known that our ancestors have told us. We will not hide them from our children. We will tell them to the coming generation the glorious deeds of the Lord and his might and the wonders that he has done. He established a decree in Jacob and appointed a law in Israel, which he commanded our ancestors to teach to their children, that the next generation might know them, the children yet unborn, and rise up and tell them to their children, so that they should set their hope in God and not forget the works of God, but keep his commandments and that they should not be like their ancestors, a stubborn and rebellious generation, a generation whose heart was not steadfast, whose spirit was not faithful to God. Yet they sinned still more against him, rebelling against the Most High in the desert. They tested God in their heart by demanding the food they craved. They spoke against God, saying, Can God spread a table in the wilderness? Even though he struck the rock so that the water gushed out and torrents overflowed, can he also give bread or provide meat for his people? Therefore, when the Lord heard he was full of rage, a fire was kindled against Jacob. His anger mounted against Israel because they had no faith in God and did not trust his saving power. Yet he commanded the skies above and opened the doors of heaven. He rained down on them manna to eat and gave them the grain of heaven. Mortals ate of the bread of angels. He sent them food in abundance. He caused the east wind to blow in the heavens, and by his power he led out the south wind. He rained flesh upon them like dust, winged birds like the sand of the seas. He let them fall within their camp, all around their dwellings, and they ate and were well filled for he gave them what they craved. Our Psalm for today. And that was selections from Psalm 78, God's goodness and Israel's ingratitude. We move now to another scripture reading. This time it's the Gospel of Matthew, recorded at the 32nd verse in the 15th chapter, speaking of feeding the 4,000. Then Jesus called his disciples to him and said, I have compassion for the crowd, because they have been with me now for three days and have nothing to eat. I do not want to send them away hungry, for they might faint on the way. The disciples said to him, Where are we to get enough bread in the desert to feed such a great crowd? Jesus asked them, How many loaves have you? They said, Seven, and a few small fish. Then ordering the crowd to sit down on the ground, he took the seven loaves and the fish, and after giving thanks, he broke them and gave them to the disciples, and the disciples gave them to the crowds. And all of them ate and were filled, and they took up the broken pieces left over, seven baskets full. Those who had eaten were four thousand men, besides women and children. After sending away the crowds, he got into the boat, and went to the region of Magadan. The Gospel of our Lord. And now a time of prayer. Please join me. 
God of all mercies, we praise you that you have brought us to this new day, brightening our lives with the dawn of promise and hope in Jesus Christ. Especially we thank you for ministries of discernment and governance, those who teach and those who learn. The community of faith in your church, reconciliation in our relationships, all gifts of healing and forgiveness. Merciful God, strengthen us in prayer that we may lift up the brokenness of this world for your healing and share in the saving love of Jesus Christ. Especially we pray for the church worldwide, safe, clean, and renewable energy, those who are lonely and forgotten, those from whom we are estranged, all who glorify you in worship and service. Eternal God, you are the source of every gift, the fountain of every blessing. Give us such joy in living and such peace in serving Christ that we may gratefully make use of all your blessings and joyfully seek our risen Lord in everyone we meet. In Jesus Christ we pray the words he taught, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts, as we forgive our debtors, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever. Amen. Thank you for joining me today. We'll see you again on Sunday. Until then, let us go in peace and serve the Lord.